Hey, what's up? It's me, Tyler Reeves. I'm Snow House Gaming Trees, and recently I was on my YouTube page, you know, checking my subscribers and stuff. I realized I had over a thousand K views on a video. Mind blowing, I know. Um, but so I decided to recreate that in a way, basically. And I'm going to show you guys something that um, it's going to be awesome. Um, just like I know how to video that I did in the past, I'm going to show you guys how to. Plug in a Wii U with no HDMI cord. What up now, son? You think that we use this old HDMI in the way of the future? Well, say goodbye to that. So, the first thing you need is the original Wii right here. And right here, the original Wii is fine. And what you need to do next is, of course, have a TV that, of course, supports the um, AV cables, ones with the three main colors on it, um, white yellow and red so once all that's all done you just get your small tv i have a small one right there i'll go plug in in a second to show you guys how to way you plug in then you need a wii u with um the power cord and a sensor bar as well so you can of course play your games but of course um if you just like move it to one place to another you ju can just move it but so it's not that big of a deal but with all that being said Let's show you how it plugs in. There's also one more thing that you guys should know. You guys should also make sure that you have an HDMI cord with you just in case. Um, if you have a spare Xbox One, PS4, or if you, you can even use the normal Wii one, you can of course work on the beautiful piece of hardware called the Wii U. Now on the TV side, make sure all your cords are plugged in. You have your video cords plugged into this one right here. And you also have your normal cords plugged in. Um, then on the, your main TV, you'll just say... Just hey, this is the how you set uh, all the stuff up. But if you go right down here to the pads, oh yeah, I was about to set that down now. You hit um the worst one is four or eighty p. They will say um apparently they will say check your TV if the display is okay. If nothing is bad, then okay. So let's make sure that's okay. And then it's now set to four p. So now if we go over here. And just unplug it, it should, by theoretically, set. Oh, I forgot to set this to um, 43. There we go. Now, setting the screen out slow. Is that it? There we go. Now, screen size, make sure that's okay. Make sure that's. What the heck? Oh, there we go. Make sure this sequence is not that. Damn. Damn! Ha! I'm a master genius! Ha, huh, sorry. It took me a bit to get this usually set up. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, make sure your TV is set to um, non HDMI. Oh my god, I, don't, I honestly thought I screwed everything up though. But yeah, now you can have play Wii U games on a small TV. So you don't have to be confined to an expensive big TV. So yeah, if well that being said, I'm going to go blow up Smash Bros for Wii U on the Wii U and show you guys how good it looks. Well, how good, quote unquote, it looks on the big TV. So let me just go get that set up real quick. And so yeah, I'm going to keep this recording um, just because. And then you could question you know, all my me's and my family and stuff when that pops up. So with that being said, um, if you guys want to go out and buy a Wii U, but you already have a Wii, a, and if you have like all the HDMI cords and stuff like that, you know, make sure you have a TV that can at least support HDMI for a bit. You don't need HDMI fully, but um, it, it will help you in the long run. Make sure Super Smash Bros. is now in the case. And... And of course, sometimes the audio can of course be a bit flickery, but I think it might just be my TV. But of course, the main music, of course, is also here, is also for my pad. And for some reason, Smash Bros. needs an update, but since I have the basic set, it won't work. But yeah. Now we can boot up Super Smash Bros. for Wii U on the small little TV that we can't really even set up in the past. So that's by itself. It's amazing. Now, I'm sorry, that wasn't like right by the TV. I'm sorry about that. I'm using a way not good camera. I'm sorry about that. But 
Anyway, so this is, in fact, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, working on your small TV. And it, it looks good by itself. Like, it looks like I'm, of course, watching, like, stuff that I, I can possibly be watching on big TV, like, graphics-wise. But, of course, that's the idea. Is mind-blowing to some people. Like, to some people that are probably watching this, probably is mind-blowing. Because I wouldn't expect Wii U um, to work like this. I didn't even know that we had this um, output for we had this output for um, uh, AV. I thought it was just HDMI, just like the Xbox and PS4. But as soon as you boot up, as soon as you get a Wii U, look at the back of it. I guarantee you, you will see that we have a point on the back of the system. It's just mind blowing to me. Okay, this is this is just amazing. I don't care what you guys say in the comments. This is just amazing. And so I'm going to go get to one match here, just to, um, because, as I said before, it's my blowing. And so, we have actually like, kind of the Westing music playing for this amazing moment. So, of course it is hard to play games like Smash on a small screen, I can understand that to some people. But, you know, I'm just going to get into a one minute match, because I want to make this video a bit short. And so, we're going to go get into a match. And you know what? We're going to go Soul Old School. We're actually going to battle on the Don Kong stage if I can find it. I think I just passed it, but no. You know, whatever. We won't do Yeah, there it is. Right there. So. Three, two, this is, in fact, Smash Bros. for Wii U running on a AV point video system. Now, this is amazing. Like, I have to say, Nintendo way had fluent some stuff. And who knows, maybe the Nintendo Switch will have a port to um, um, AV as well if you want to play that on your screen as well. I do not know. But they, even in 2016, as the last year of Wii U, as I'll say, because next year that will be the year of the Switch, um, they will probably have a few other stuff like, of course, a few other secrets. I'm, I'm playing a few other secrets. I mean, you never know what Nintendo has up their sleeve, and, and I'm actually way excited for the Switch. But just the idea of me playing Smash on this TV, still in 2016, I think that's just by itself is amazing. And I think it should be one of the highlights of 2016. And if you guys, speaking of highlights of 2016, you guys should wait to check out my um, 2016 YouTube Rewind video that I did. It's not official YouTube Rewind, but like, I did a collaboration of the, my best music videos that I've done so far on this channel. So you can make sure you go check that out. But yeah, that was Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U with, on this small little TV. Like, this is, I don't know how well you guys could have saw it, but... It seriously runs so great on this TV, and it doesn't like cut down any flames or whatever, so it won't like be that bad. The only thing is, if you have way bad eyesight, you know, oh my battery's going low on my pad, I better go turn that off. But you know, that's that's the Wii U. That's the Wii U running on this small little Dolby Explorer TV, <laughs> and it works on any uh, thing that has it. So if you don't want school out of AV. Um, um, HDMI, it is easier, HDMI is easier, but if you don't want to screw around with it, then this is fine. Thank you guys for, um, you know, and now what's my sponsor? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, I'm actually not sponsoring anyone, other than Nintendo. Nintendo, you guys are amazing. If you guys have not, let's go to the Nintendo YouTube channel, go down to it, and go like and subscribe to all the videos, because Nintendo is amazing. And you will be amazing too if you subscribe to them. So, anyway, that's it. See you guys in the next video. Bye! Yeah, 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 yeah.